Radio, great things. Uh, I gave you the opportunity to do the one on the left hand side of this page 419. We, the last chapter in geometrical construction is specifically pertaining to ellipses, and so I want to make sure that this last drawing we're able to do together. Now, what is given to you is this image here on the top right hand side with the various measurements given. We have a major axis of, help me out. 144, a minor axis of 96. So is it a as van 144 and a as van 96. Then is there a 12, this is not the bottom, not the bottom, ellipse. And then on the inside we have here a hexagon uh, star there, diameter 48. All right, so let's get started here on the bottom. We already have our center lines given to us. What I would suggest here is for you to not overwhelm yourself. Do not try and draw both of these ellipses at the same time. We start with the outside one. So X outside is 144, which is 72. Okay. So we go, that's our major. And our minor is 96, which is 48. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. There we have it. Just like we did yesterday. Major, minor. What's the next step? Help me. We're going to stop. Minor to major. Construction line. Next step. Yes, yes. From the center. Kijk hier. Dis wel baie van jylle nou verkeerd gegaan. Look here. Everybody look at me. Look. And then you look at your homework. And you see what you did. Because it's this. Radius, that gets the arc. Sorry. This radius, that gets that arc. Okay? Construction line. What's the next part? Then from the minor axis. Alright. All of this was done to get that distance. Yes or no? Alright. Any size bigger than half of it, we're going to get a perpendicular bisector, construction, construction, flip it, construction, construction. And so every bit of drawing that we've done up to now is to draw this line. Okay, I'll just do it in yellow for you. Yes or no? Okay. So what do I do now? I've now determined a couple of points. Well, the points that I've determined is that one and that one. And I need to copy them now over to, on the major axis, there it is, flip it, tip. Make sure you take the green dot there, not the first one that you drew. Up. So I've got now, okay. Next one is to complete these guidelines. Okay, now you have your gids line and you have to go through the green point. So it will not go through any other part. Okay. Like so quickly with your thumb. Up finger, I am 100% with you sir. Middle, I need one or two steps to be repeated. Everybody, show me, where are you? Or down, where are you at? Wees over my. Anybody like wants me to repeat the step? What one? Which one? Okay. I'll quickly do a review. Okay, come away. They've given you the major and the minor. This was 144. Do you see that? That was 96. Yes or no? Okay. That is the first part. You indicate. Don't worry about the internal lips. The external one is what you do. What's the second, first line that we then draw? From major to minor. Yes or no? Okay. What's the next one we do? We take on that major axis from the middle to the maximum there. And we bring this across to the top. Yes? What's the next one? From the minor to the point that we've just determined, back to that line that I drew. And it's on this line 
that you draw the perpendicular bisector because it bisects the major axis and the minor axis. Okay, Afrikaans gaan gaan. So, jy, hulle geef jy die hoof as as 144, die newe as is 96. So, die eerste stapje is om dit aan te teken en dan daar die lijn te trek. Dan vat jy van die middel af jou radius op boon toe. Nou het jy merk jy, nou sit jy hem terug op daar die eerste punt, tot op daar die punt en terug op my eerste lijn. En dis daai afstand wat ek dan een middel loodlijn Ek gaan vraag jy wie hoef te verduidelik om een middelloodlijn te doen nie, want jy het nou al 100 geteken. Okay? Daai middelloodlijn gaan dier twee punte, dis die groen punte. Dan moet ek daai groen punte oorsit van hierdie kant af, daai kant toe. So I'm copying these green marks of mine over. Don't get confused because there's other markings also. I'm just talking about the green ones. And then I'm going to draw in the guidelines. It goes through those and it's here where you have to be careful. It goes through the green part, not the other dot there. That's very close, okay? Yes? Okay. Right, now at this point, you might as well go home because we are so, ons is so te sê klaar. Can I have your attention, please? Kijk, gauw duidelik en uiteindelik. Kijk, nou sit ek my Pas erop, hy groenpunt. Al die moeite wat ek gedoen het tot nou toe was vir hy groenpunt. Dit was all the trouble I've gone to was for this green point. I'm setting my compass on that and I can't go to the green there, people. I'm having to go to that minor axis mark. Is jylle by my? Kijk mooi. And now I draw my arc from one guideline through that to the other. Do I change my radius now? No, I flip it. I go back to this green, and they should line up. And I draw my other arc. And I relax. I don't stress about anything. Because now I know there's another green point there. That goes to the major axis. And this, people, should line up with that. And you draw your... Okay? Same on this side. I uh, missed it a little bit there. Let's double check this one. There we go, there we go, this one is, I'm actually nailing this one. Okay, daar het ek so bykie ge... Ja. Would it be wrong if we highlighted it like that in the test? It would be wrong in the test, but I don't mind you doing it now. You can't use other colors in FATs. But with your practice now, go ahead. Okay, what now, what's the difference, what do I, what's the th other thing that I have to do here? There's a one that goes on the inside. Now what's the difference in? It is 12. So go in, take the ruler, measure 12, make another dot. Same at the bottom. Same here. 12 binnen toe. Is dit wat jylle gedoen het? Okay. And do I have to change my, do I have to change my centers here, the green marks? No. Okay. Ik ga nie my maates verander nou nie, want die die middelpunt moet ons die selfde blijf van die radius. That arc, the center needs to stay the same, otherwise they won't be parallel to each other. So the center doesn't change, it's only the radius that changes with 12 millimeters. Same on this end. Say ah, as jy by is. Say ooh, as jy verkeerd is. Hmm. Okay, daar so, nou kan jy weer die seker maak. Do they line up? Flip it, double check it, does it line up? Okay, now you can, might as well go on holiday because the worst is, has passed you. Diameter 48 is, di is 20, radius 24. In here in the middle and this can be a nice dark line because it is. Okay. And using my 30-60 degree triangle, this point is a common one, that one is a common one, yes or no? So I go, tip, am I having to think about this? Nee, ek gaan nie myself bekommer nie. 
Es muss ja erst das sehen, so gut ich dir kann. Okay, that's how you do it. Geometrical construction, your last chance. Half a chance, no chance. So we are going on to the next chapter. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.